Good evening and welcome to the National Environmental Awards in partnership with Dua Cymru Welsh Water. We launched the National on St David's Day this year as a new digital news service for all of Wales. We aimed to offer something different to readers. We cover Wales at a national level from a truly Welsh perspective. Our business model is different from other news sites in that our journalism is mostly funded by digital subscribers. By subscribing, you will be supporting a stronger Welsh media and helping us to write the stories that matter to you. If you're hearing about us for the first time today, or you just want to know more, please do visit www.thenational.wales. At The National, we've prioritised coverage of the environment and climate change because we want to educate and inform people to make choices that will preserve this beautiful country and beyond for future generations. Through our regular coverage, we aim to share, educate, to tell the story and engage Wales in a discussion around climate change and the environment. The National Environmental Awards are part of that ongoing campaign. With the National Environmental Awards, we want to celebrate all those that have risen to the challenge of this global problem, finding local solutions that can make a big difference. Tonight, we will be sharing your stories and create a permanent record of all those incredible people and businesses that champion the cause. I want this evening to be as interactive as possible. And while we might not be able to be in the same room, please put your messages of good luck, celebration and support in the comments below. I know our finalists would love to see them. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the judges for the time and expertise they brought to the process. It was a time consuming job reading through all the entries and there were some tough decisions to be made. However, tonight's finalists and winners definitely deserve their accolades. These awards would not have been possible without the support of sponsors. They've continued to champion these awards during these challenging times and have helped ensure they can go ahead online tonight. I would like to thank our title sponsor, Dua Cymru Welsh Water, and the category sponsors, Bluestone National Park Resort, BMI Werndale Hospital, Codig Gwent, Merlin Homes, Monmouthshire Building Society, Valero, and Western Power Distribution. Now with a remit set out in law to be the guardian of the interests of the future generations in Wales, Sophie Howe is the world's first future generations commissioner. Sophie's role is to provide advice to the government and other public bodies in Wales on delivering social, economic, environmental and cultural well-being for current and future generations and assessing and reporting on how they are delivering. Sophie took up post in 2016 and has led high profile interventions around transport planning, education reform, and climate change, challenging the government and others to demonstrate how they are taking account of future generations. We are delighted that Sophie was able to send us this message. I'm Sophie Howe and I'm the Future Generations Commissioner for Wales and I'm really pleased to be with you this evening, albeit virtually, to celebrate people who are fighting the good fight to save our planet. Never has there been such an important issue for us here in the world. Never has there been such an important moment for current decision makers to do the right things for future generations. If we look 50,000 years to the past, there have been about 100 billion people who were alive and are now dead. Currently in the earth, there are about 7.7 .7 billion people. But if we look 50,000 years to the future, there will be about 6.75 trillion people who are yet to be born. And the things that we do today, whether those are the small things, the Pethau Bachain, as St David's uh, talked about, or the big things that our policymakers here in Wales and across the world do, those things will be absolutely crucial to the lives that those 6.7 trillion people, those yet to be born, will live. We have a real moment here to change the way that we do things. And those, as I said, often start with the small things, the environmental activists who are campaigning to clean up their streets, to address polluted rivers, to address uh, high air pollution in their towns. The people who are looking at how they can combine uh, tackling food poverty whilst uh, supporting local growing initiatives. 
the people who are in business who are aiming to reduce their carbon footprint, those of us who are individually reducing our carbon footprints, the people who are doing brave and new things in the way that they buy goods and services, whether that's in the private sector or the public sector, the people who are aiming to make sure that we are decarbonising our industry and making sure that we are reaching our net zero targets. There is so much good happening out there, but we must all go further and go faster. In terms of the climate emergency, this is known now as the decade of delivery. We must match our actions with the words and the promises that we've made to future generations. And it's the same in terms of tackling the nature emergency. Natural Resources Wales tells us that our ecological resilience in Wales and our species here in Wales continue to decline. And that has an impact on us all. The way in which we've treated our environment is terrible in terms of the prospects for future generations, but it's also impacting on us now here in Wales, just a few years ago. And now indeed every year we experience horrendous flooding, wiping out communities and towns, making it more difficult for people to sustain livelihoods, to get insurance and so on. And in other parts of the world, our actions are fundamentally undermining the lives that people are trying to build. We know that climate justice is also a racial justice issue. The fact that in the global south, our actions are hitting those who are most vulnerable the hardest. But here also in Wales, that if you live in poverty, you're more likely to live in areas of high air pollution, less likely to have access to nature. All of these things are connected. And that's why it's so important to see the brilliant work that activists, campaigners, local groups, businesses are doing to get ahead of this issue and to tackle this real emergency that we're facing. So Llongevach Yadai to you all, to everyone who has been nominated for the work that you are doing. Please, please help us to continue to make sure that Wales can build on some of the proud history we have, being number three in the world for recycling, setting really challenging climate change uh, targets, making sure that we take steps to restore nature, being the first country in the world to legislate to protect the interests of future generations. Please help us to continue that work in what you're doing in your areas, in your communities, with your sectors, making sure that we leave the world better than we found it. Diolch Thank you, Sophie. Our host this evening is Yolo Williams. Yolo is a Welsh naturalist, broadcaster, public speaker and writer who's worked in conservation for more than 30 years. He is most widely known as a popular member of the Spring Watch, Autumn Watch and Winter Watch presenting team and for presenting series such as Wild Wales, Rugged Wales and Great Welsh Parks for BBC Two. Yolo was born and brought up in Mid Wales and then studied in London for a degree in ecology at North East London Polytechnic. After graduating, he went on to work for the RSPB for almost 15 years as Species Officer for Wales, a job he loved as he worked with some of the country's rarest breeding birds. Yolo has written several books on Welsh wildlife, both in English and Welsh, and he's a regular contributor to several magazines, including BBC Wildlife. Please welcome Yolo Williams. Good evening, Noswaitha. My more brave, gweld bonny yma heno i ddathlu'r amgylchedd. Mae o'n y newyddion tŵr amser ar hyn o bryd, wrth gwrs, a'n dydy hi'n braf i weld bonny gwobrwyo pobl sydd yn neud cymaint i helpu'r amgylchedd. A warm welcome, isn't it? Brilliant to be here to celebrate the environment, and in particular, to celebrate those people who are taking action to help the environment. We're all well aware these days of global warming, climate change, the loss of biodiversity, and it's heartwarming to see so many people out there taking action to help our wildlife. On to the awards themselves. The National have been sent some messages of good luck and appreciation for the finalists tonight. Here's the first message from none other than Sam Warburton. 
Hi everybody, Sam Warburton here. We'd just like to wish all the finalists all the best of luck. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Good luck, everybody. Dioch, thank you, Sam. Now, our first category this evening is Best Policy and Practice Within the Public Sector, an award sponsored by LocalIQ. This award was open to councils, government departments, and all areas of the public sector who have provided a comprehensive array of green enabling services and who've actively encouraged the businesses and consumers they serve to become greener in outlook and practice. The finalists are Kerry Williams, Torvine Council. Kerry Williams has been leading the way at Torvine Council. She's worked tirelessly to ensure climate action is at the forefront of their agenda. Newport City Council. Newport City Council has put in a lot of hard environmental work, which has resulted in a 54% reduction in terms of total tons of carbon emissions. And this is despite of the pandemic. They've achieved this through retrofitting energy measures in buildings, as well as the rollout of EV vehicle charging infrastructure for both public and council use. And finally, Salix Finance. Salix Finance provides funding opportunities to the public sector in Wales, Scotland and England to carry out energy efficient and decarbonisation projects to support the sector to reach net zero targets. More than £90 million has been invested in energy efficiency projects, which is forecast to save almost £15 million and a staggering 51,000 tonnes of CO2 annually. To announce the name of the winner from LocaliQ, Managing Director Hussein Bayoubi. LocaliQ are delighted to be presenting the next award. The winner of the best policy and practice within the public sector goes to Salix Finance. Yes, it's fantastic to win this award. Um, Salix Finance, working in partnership with the Welsh Government and the Welsh Government Energy Service. And it's great to support the public sector to invest in energy efficiency and really strive to achieve the net zero targets. Hello, Adam Henson here. I'd just like to wish everybody the best of luck in tonight's National Environmental Awards. Hope you have a great evening. Thank you, Adam. Our second award this evening is the Sustainability Through Tourism and Leisure Award, sponsored by Bluestone National Park Resort. This award was open to any business operating in the food, drink, entertainment and hospitality sector who can demonstrate a comprehensive program to minimise the impact that their business operation is having on the environment. The finalists are the Centre for Alternative Technology. Since 1973, the Centre for Alternative Technology has welcomed visitors who want to learn more about all aspects of sustainable living. CAT offers practical solutions and hands-on learning to help create a zero-carbon world. Ebuview Eco Stays. Ebuview Eco Stays take people back to nature in the kindest, calmest ways. Visitors benefit from composting toilets, solar-powered energy, and naturally sourced water. Anglesey Sisu and Marine Resource Centre. Anglesey Sisu put sustainability right at the top of their agenda, from organising beach cleans to reducing plastic use and sourcing sustainable food for their cafe. Here's a short message from Bluestone National Park Resort's Head of Corporate Responsibility, Martin Lewis. My name's Martin Lewis and I'm the Head of Corporate Responsibility here at Bluestone National Park Resort. And we are delighted to sponsor the Sustainability Through Tourism and Measure Award and I've been very impressed with all the entries. I'll now hand you over to Editor Gavin Thompson who will announce the winner of the Award for Sustainability Through Tourism and Leisure. Thanks Martin. The winner of the Sustainability Through Tourism and Leisure Award 
is Anglesey Sea Zoo and Marine Resource Centre. Wow, very proud. Um, yeah, really proud. Um, of, of that's kind of an achievement for me and my team, really, because uh, 15 years ago now, nearly, I built the business and I've been doing a sort of a, a, a gradual, sustainable approach. Um, obviously, it's my passion. Um, that's what drives me. But it's also cost, you know, a lot of blood, sweat and tears. It's, it's cost money. Um, so it's great to get that kind of acknowledgement, really, for all that hard work and to, to be recognised as leading by example. Hello, everybody. Matthew Pritchard here, author of uh, the cookbook Dirty Vegan, uh, currently in my car in Cardiff. Uh, I believe plant-based food is a sustainable lifestyle option, and I'd like to wish all the finalists in the National Environmental Awards all the best of luck and keep up your hard work. Uh, and don't forget, we can all help do our little bit for our planet. And that's by eating a plant-based diet and being accountable for our waste, even tea bags. Because don't forget, 102 tea bags is enough to power a house for an hour. Good luck, everyone. Take it easy. Toodle pip. Thank you, Matthew. Our next category this evening is the Sustainability Through Innovation Award sponsored by BMI Werndale Hospital. This award is for a product introduced to market in the past 12 months, which provides an eco-friendly solution as effective as its non-environmental equivalent. It could be a cleaning product, a service, or anything that enables people, businesses, and communities to create a more sustainable future. The finalists are Barefoot Tech, Barefoot Tech is a reclaimed product brand which recycles wetsuits, life jackets, and other water sport materials into unique, durable, and high fashion accessories. It's a company striving for a more sustainable future. Cellular Agriculture. Cellular Agriculture was the first startup in the cell-based meat space in the whole of the UK. It supports an emerging alternative protein industry that delivers price parity with traditional animal protein while mitigating its effect on the climate. And Genesis Biosciences. Genesis Biosciences is at the cutting edge of new technology. It's a global biosciences company with a unique capability to ferment bacteria strains and develop safe and natural microbial and antimicrobial products. To announce the name of the winner from BMI Werndale Hospital Sales and Marketing Manager, Jessica Price. Good evening, everyone. It is fabulous to see so many sustainable businesses across Wales being showcased tonight. The winner of the Sustainability Through Innovation Award is Genesis Biosciences. Wow, um, really, really great. You know, um, first of all, um, thank you very much. Um, I'd also um, like to congratulate all the other finalists and winners. Um, but yeah, this this award just means an awful lot to us um, because um, our eco-benign philosophy is, is at the heart of everything that we do um, at Genesis. And um, in a market that's really dominated by um, harsh chemicals, um, you know, we're really trying to lead the way in developing products that put, um, you know, environmental considerations first. So this award, um, really, it provides recognition for all the pioneering work that our scientists are doing. And um, it just really inspires us and, and our people here to, to develop, uh, you know, other environmentally responsible innovations and bring those to the market. So yeah, it's just really great. Thank you very, very much. We're absolutely chuffed. Good evening. My name is Lee Waters and I'm the Welsh Government's Deputy Minister for Climate Change. And I just want to wish all the finalists in tonight's National Environment Awards the very best of luck. It's no mean feat to be shortlisted for an award like this and you should be proud of the work that you are doing as part of our national effort 
to tackle climate change. We need to remember that in the next 10 years, we need to make more cuts than we've managed over the course of the whole 30 years. It is a huge challenge, but your work shows that it is doable. Change is possible, change can be positive, and you are setting an example to us all that we need to follow. Very best of luck tonight. Thank you, Lee. Our fourth category this evening is the Carbon Zero Efficient Building Award sponsored by Monmouthshire Building Society. This award goes to the most interesting, sustainable building completed since the 1st of January 2016. This category is open to all non-residential buildings or developments, including offices, educational, leisure, hotels, industrial or public sector. The finalists are Boyd Bendigedig Port, Incredible Edible Porth Madog. Boyd Bendigedig Port, Incredible Edible Porth Madog is an award-winning community project, now a charity. They run a garden scheme for the local community with the aim of strengthening the growing of local food. Much of their garden at Glaslin is built from interesting waste material. Club Rugby Bethesda. Club Rugby Bethesda is one of the most carbon neutral sports venues in Wales. It features solar panels, LED lights, top notch insulation, and it's a part of the wider local energy community which benefits from sustainable energy derived from a hydro turbine on the Avon or Gwyn. Canolvan John Burns Centre. Burns Pet Nutrition has so many environmental initiatives that there isn't enough time to mention them all. From using sheep's wool for insulation to solar panels and having a borehole for the water supply at their HQ, they've considered everything. To announce the name of the winner, from Monmouthshire Building Society PR and Communications Officer, Wendy Peters. Good evening. The journey to Carbon Zero is really important to us at the Monmouthshire Building Society. The winner of the Carbon Zero Efficient Building Award is Canolfan John Burns Centre. Delighted, well, thank you very much indeed. That's really exciting. It's great to be a part of this uh, award. Uh, the John Burns Centre is really just the latest in initiatives that Burns Pet Nutrition and the Burns Foundation have uh, carried out over the years. We've been committed to environmental projects and reducing our carbon footprint. So this, to, to have that outside recognition is just wonderful. So thank you very much indeed. Hello there, I am Terry Walton, and I've been growing things since the age of four. Now I get to help others grow things. One thing you can all do to, to help the environment is not to use chemicals in your garden. I want to thank all the finalists in the National Environmental Awards. The best of luck. Keep up your hard work. Thank you very much there from the legend that is Terry Walton. And Terry, if you've got any spare time, Pop over and have a look at my garden, mate. Our next category this evening is the Education, School or College Award sponsored by Mellin Homes. This award was open to any school or college in Wales where teachers, pupils, families and other stakeholders take part in a structured programme to ensure the school takes a lead in protecting the environment for future generations. The finalists are Colin Gwent. Colleg Gwent has the rather unique opportunity to embed the principles of sustainability to more than 20,000 students aged from 16 to 18. They audit their efficiencies of water and energy usage, recycling, green procurement, campus maintenance, and biodiversity. The Welsh School of Architecture. The Welsh School of Architecture aims to bring about social, environmental, economic, and health benefits not only to Wales, but to the wider world. For example, using natural materials and community knowledge, the Masters in Architectural Design Synergetic Landscapes Unit has been working on design solutions to global and local challenges facing nature and wildlife. And a Llewellyn. 
A Scotia Wellin in Drill have worked their socks off in order to protect and improve the environment. Amongst the many things they've done is they've turned green fields that were hardly used into wildlife habitats and a pollination garden. And on top of that, they planted 840 fruit trees and hedgerows. To announce the name of the winner from Mellin Homes Administrator Emily Enos. Good evening. Mellin Homes are really proud to sponsor the Education School or College Award. The winner is Colid Gwent. Oh, it feels fantastic to be, to be recognised this evening for, for the award and it goes all the recognition to, to all the people back at the college. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kit Simons, coach of the Welsh national team. I'd just like to wish all the finalists on the National Environmental Online Awards tonight the very, very best of luck. Thank you, Kit, and good luck to Wales in qualifying for the World Cup in Qatar too. Our sixth category this evening is the Best Product of the Year Award, sponsored by LocaliQ. This award will go to a business that has introduced an environmentally friendly new product, process, invention, idea, or new way of thinking, working, or design that has made a significant difference to the business's environmental impact. The finalists are Eto Eto. Sylvia Davis launched her accessories business, Eto Eto, which means again, again, in November 2019. Operating out of a studio in Cardiff, its ethos is to repurpose materials such as broken umbrellas and bicycle inner tubes that would otherwise end up in landfill or be incinerated into high quality and fashionable accessories. Genesis Biosciences. Genesis Biosciences leads the market in the development and supply of innovative, environmentally responsible, microbial and antimicrobial products and solutions. Effectively, they utilize nature's own toolbox to improve the environment and provide their customers with the capability to do the same. The Good Wash Company. Almost three years have gone by since Mandy Powell and Kelly Davis set up the Good Wash Company, a luxury toiletries brand and social enterprise that ploughs its profits into communities and charitable initiatives. The pair are on a mission to make getting cleaned up feel especially fantastic while being good for the environment. A win-win. And Scrubbies UK. Incredibly, Scrubbies UK started as a small project in a living room and it has now grown to where it is, a Europe-wide wholesale and retail manufacturer of home compostable sponge alternatives. More than 60,000 scrubbies have been manufactured, packed, shipped, and sold right across Europe. There's a potential to go global, which would replace an estimated 5 million plastic sponges. Let's hear from the sponsor, LocaliQ, to announce the winner. Good evening. What fantastic businesses we've heard from tonight. The winner of the Best Product of the Year Award is Scrubbies UK. Oh, wow, what a surprise. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, to be amongst such amazing finalists, that's just incredible. Um, all that hard work has finally paid off. Thank you so much. I'm very honoured. Hi. Uh, this is Jonathan Davis, and I'd like to wish all the finalists in the National Environmental Awards the best of luck tonight, okay? So um, everyone has been nominated as a winner anyway, but uh, just uh, extra congratulations to all the finalists. Hope you enjoy the evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Dioch, thank you, Jiffy, and keep your boots ready, boy, because if Wales have any more injuries at outside half, you may well be called up, you never know. 
Our next award tonight is the Outstanding Organization Award sponsored by Colic Gwent. This award was open to any organization in Wales who can demonstrate a ground up best practice in all aspects of running their business, ethically, socially, and in an environmentally friendly way. The finalists are the Institute of Biological, Environmental and Rural Sciences, IBAS, is the largest institute within Aberystwyth University. IBAS works both with academic and industrial partners, developing and translating innovative bioscience research into solutions designed to mitigate the impacts of climate change and plant and animal diseases and deliver renewable energy and food and water security. Newport City Council, another nomination for Newport City Council, which just goes to show the amount of hard work that's been done. Across the board, they're putting in measures to increase sustainability and mitigate the effects of climate change. And Prig Estate. Prig Estate covers 12,500 acres, extending from Gwydelwern in the north, Carrog to the east, Cunwyd to the south, and Myrde to the west. And their commitment to the environment is just as vast, so it's unsurprising that they've racked up three nominations in total, including this one for the Outstanding Organisation Award. To announce the name of the winner from Colleg Gwent, Head of Health, Safety and Sustainability, Ian Rowe. It's great to be here tonight to announce the winner of the Outstanding Organisation. And the winner is Newport City Council. On behalf of Newport City Council, I am absolutely delighted to receive this award. It's testament to the hard work of all our staff and our partners, Newport North, who have actually made this possible. I need to give a special mention to Dan McCallum and the staff at Energy Cooperative who've worked with us as a council to help roll out almost 7,000 solar panels on our council buildings over the past 18 months. Although we've reduced our carbon emissions significantly over the last five years, this is just the start. We're very aware that there's a long road ahead of us all, and we need to broaden our horizons in terms of looking to reduce carbon emissions across the whole city of Newport. It's so refreshing to see the range of organisations that were shortlisted for this award, which is a reminder to us all that we're all in this together. The public sector as a whole in Wales needs to be carbon neutral by 2030 while Wales as a whole is required to be carbon neutral by 2050 if we're to stop the planet warming beyond the point of no return. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you. Hello, everyone at the National Newspaper for Wales Environment Awards. Artist Nathan Wyburn here. I hope you're having a great evening so far. The awards celebrate people and businesses that are helping to save the planet. I think we'd all agree that's an extremely important cause. But whilst making a difference and buildings that are pioneering in energy saving and environmental impact, I would just like to say good luck to all the finalists. As you might, you may know, you may not know, I create artwork using anything and everything, unconventional materials, recycling, food, bits of wood that I found on the side of the road. It could be anything, but my whole ethos is very similar to yours. So I would just like to say good luck to all the finalists and I hope you do well. Thank you, Nathan. Our eighth award tonight is the Environmental Community Group Award sponsored by Western Power Distribution. This award was open to any community group in Wales that's working together to create a more sustainable place to live and work. The finalists are Egni Co-op. Egni Co-op was the first solar PV cooperative in Wales. They generate clean energy, enabling their sites to take action on climate change and be more sustainable. Brimbo Heritage Orchard Project. 
Brimble Heritage Orchard Project has spent the past four years rewilding the site of the former Brimble Steelworks with heritage Welsh apple and pear trees. The volunteers have not only transformed the former industrial site to make cider, but have saved rare varieties of apples and pears for future generations. And Size of Wales. Size of Wales is a climate change charity with the aim of conserving an area of tropical rainforest twice the size of Wales. The project currently supports seven forest protection projects and a tree planting project across Africa and South America. To announce the name of the winner from Western Power Distribution, Corporate Communications Officer Karen Welsh. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Environmental Community Group Award is Egni Co-op. I'm really, we're really delighted. It, it, it was a, um, it's been an amazing experience. We've developed a lot of rooftop solar in Wales, working with um, community groups, businesses, and and schools. Uh, and I'd just like to thank in particular Newport Council, Swansea Council and Pembrokeshire Council um, for kind of really working with us. And we've installed a lot of rooftop solar on their schools. And it's now lovely, you know, we're developing an education programme to work with children in those schools to kind of make further um, you know, further changes and re energy reductions to basically try and just tackle climate change and do our bit within Wales to, to be part of that you know, glo global effort. So thank you very much for this award. Hello everyone and good evening, Ben Fogel here. I'd like to extend my warmest wishes and best of luck to all of the finalists in this year's National Environmental Awards. I know that there are a number of different categories from eco-leaders, schools, businesses, products, community groups and buildings. So from me to all of you, the finalists, uh, well done for getting there, and to all of the winners, thank you for making a difference. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you, Ben. Now, our penultimate category this evening is the Environment Entrepreneur Award, sponsored by Valero. The award was open to people who've themselves set up a new startup green business or to long-established entrepreneurs who've spotted an opportunity and invested in or supported the launch of a new green business. The finalists are David Club Avasen. Avasen wants to bring the possibilities of sustainability to everyone. It supports open source, local, environmental and ethical ways of doing business. Liz Morgan and Laura Parry, Cero Zero Waste. Cero Waste has been busy encouraging people to rid themselves of single-use plastic. It was Newport's first zero waste shop offering sustainable tea, coffee, bathroom and cleaning products, as well as household items. And Lord Newborough, the Rhyg Estate. The Rhyg Estate is leading the way in its quest to reach net zero. From organic farming to its renewable energy schemes, which is either used on site or exported to the grid. To announce the name of the winner representing Valero, the Event Wales and West coordinator of Locali Q, Chris Fox. Thank you. The winners of the Environment Entrepreneur Award are Liz Morgan and Laura Parry from Zero Zero Waste. Uh, yeah, it feels lovely to win. It's um... Yeah, we're massively grateful for all our customers that fill thousands of refills with us every month and are just doing their bit towards helping us all use a little bit less plastic. And we're so glad that we can do that. Yeah. And now it's time for our final award of the evening, the Environmental Leader Award sponsored by Door Cymru Welsh Water. This award goes to the person that has made a significant contribution to the tackling of climate change and helping the environment in Wales. The finalists are Joe O'Mahony Repair Cafe Wales CIC. 
Repair Cafe Wales CIC facilitates pop-up events and offers training and advice to encourage communities that want to work towards a more circular economy. There are a string of repair cafes operating across Wales thanks to their efforts. Lord Newborough. Lord Newborough passionately believes in sustainability. For years, he's been an early adopter of alternative energy projects from wind turbines to solar and hydro. Poppy Stowell Evans. Poppy Stowell Evans is a strong advocate for equality, social justice, and human rights. She's also a passionate climate change activist. And Kerry Williams. Kerry Williams makes a second appearance in these awards, showing what a climate advocate she is. She's been instrumental in ensuring that Torvine Council is on track to reduce its carbon footprint after helping the council to make more than 45 energy efficiency upgrades across the borough. Here's a message from Dour Cymru Welsh Water Director of Environment, Tony Harrington. At Welsh Water, we provide essential services in the management of the water cycle to over 3 million people across most of Wales and some adjoining parts of England. Uniquely, we're a non-for-profit business, which means that we can focus exclusively on what is in the best interest of our customers. Our sole focus is on making sure that we provide the best quality drinking water possible and take away the dirty water safely and at an affordable price. As one of the biggest companies in Wales with a 3,000 plus strong workforce and an annual energy bill of 46 million, we have a duty to make sure that we can protect and enhance the environment. We invest over a million pounds a day for our customers, not just in our infrastructure to improve the environment around us, but in innovative techniques to be as efficient as possible, reducing waste, supporting sustainable green technology, safeguarding our ecosystems and helping to educate the next generation. We recently announced our commitment to achieving net carbon zero emissions by 2040. And with this, we aim to reduce total carbon emissions by 90% by 2030, and 100% self-sufficient in energy by 2050. These are ambitious targets and will be achieved by continuing to change the way we think, plan and deliver the work we do. The plans we have made as outlined in our Welsh Water 2050 strategy ensure we hope that our network, our environment and the world around us is protected for years to come. All of this is crucial to helping us realise our vision of earning the trust of our customers every day. As Welsh Government has outlined, we are in a climate change crisis. But by working together, we can combat the challenges our customers face and help to protect our environment for future generations. And that's why we're delighted to be sponsoring this, the inaugural National Environment Awards 2021. To celebrate the people and communities driving change, to shine a light on the transformative projects being undertaken, and to encourage innovative ideas contributing to the greatest climate effort humankind has ever seen. Thank you. Thanks. And the winner of the Environmental Leader Award is... Joa O'Mahony, Repair Cafe Wales CIC. Oh, we're delighted to have won. Um, and we'd just like to take the opportunity to say a massive thank you to all of our incredibly talented volunteers um, who give so much time and effort and skill to their communities and without whom we wouldn't be able to, to do what we do. So a huge thank you to them. Congratulations, Joe, that's well deserved. And congratulations to all tonight's finalists and winners. You are integral to helping improve the environment in Wales and the work you do is greatly appreciated. These awards would not have been possible without the support of our sponsors who've continued to champion the awards during these challenging times and have helped ensure they could go ahead online tonight. I'd like to thank the title sponsor, Dour Cymru, Welsh Water, and the category sponsors, Bluestone National Park Resort, BMI Werndale Hospital, Colleg Gwent, Mellin Homes, Monmouthshire Building Society, Valero, and Western Power Distribution. The souvenir programme will be in the National, so make sure you pick up a copy 
to find out more about all of tonight's winners. Thank you for watching the National Environmental Awards 2021. Stay safe and a good night, one and all.